Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I can't believe it's now almost 2019. It just sounds so weird to hear that, but we are almost in 2019 and today I'm going to be doing a classic what I got for Christmas video. I tend to do these because people ask me to do them, people want to see these videos so I do them because people request them but also I like to watch these videos myself anyway so I always find it quite fun to watch and see what other people got for Christmas because I'm a bit nosy by nature and I just I find them fun to watch. I haven't been on YouTube for about a month now so I had planned to film throughout December, but the long and the short of it was I got a really bad infection. I got gastroenteritis and then it turned into a really bad ear infection and I couldn't hear for two weeks. So for like half of December, I had no hearing whatsoever. So you can imagine, that's not a really great combo, is it? I can't see very well and also I've got no hearing. I've got my hearing back in this ear and it's starting to all come back now. So I'm doing a lot better than I was, but that's why I couldn't film anything throughout December because I was just too ill to film anything. So without further ado, there's a lot of stuff around me that I need to show you, so let's crack on into the video. Future Emily, can you do the swipe thing now? Now actually, I'm going to start off by showing you a couple of things that I was sent from PR. Usually I don't show anything like this in my Christmas videos, but just a few days before Christmas I was sent some PR packages, so I thought I would show you them because they're like Christmas presents really and the first thing I was sent was from Pixie and I absolutely love Pixie. Pixie is one of my all-time favorite skincare brands I've used them for years and it came in this really beautiful peach colored box with this lovely ribbon on it and I was like oh what have I been sent? I open the box to discover that Pixie have sent me a massive glow tonic. Now I have used the glow tonic for many years almost five years i think it is now it's my all-time favorite toner it works amazing for my skin it's got glycolic acid in it and it's beautiful so they sent me a big glow tonic and not only that it's been personalized so it actually says on it emily's glow tonic which i thought was the best thing ever and they've also sent me some cotton pads to go with it which i thought was really nice but i just thought that was so lovely of them and it was all wrapped in a lovely box with a bow and it was a few days before Christmas so it was like hey this is like an early Christmas present for me so that's what I got sent from Pixie so thank you very much Pixie that is going to go down a treat with my skin now I also have a few things to show you that I was sent from the brand L'Occitane or L'Occitane not too sure how to pronounce it but I always say it as L'Occitane but don't know if that's how you pronounce it so they basically sent me a few things from their lavender range so we have the lavender foaming bath bubble bath which is amazing and i absolutely love this stuff they also sent me their lavender pillow spray which again i've used before and i love this so that's going to go down a treat and then they also sent me a lavender hand sanitizer which i thought was very practical for this time of the year because as i'm a proof of infections and horrible nasty illnesses are rife at this time of year so you can never be without hand sanitizer. The last thing that L'Occitane sent me is a scented candle and you know scented candles are a thing with me. I can never have too many scented candles but this one's got a very special story behind it. So basically it's a really beautiful candle that's been designed in this lovely night sky pattern and it's got a lovely scent to it. It's got notes of amber in it so it's really really nice and sweet but also with this lovely freshness in it and basically this candle is called the solidarity candle it's in partnership with the charity unicef the profits from this candle goes towards funding vitamin a for children and it's one of the leading reasons why children have blindness this candle is all about trying to help to provide funds to give children vitamin a to help prevent one of the leading causes of blindness which is preventable so I think that's a really lovely idea thank you very much for that L'Occitane I really really appreciate all this stuff and I'm gonna have a nice little pamper night of all this so thank you very very much the next thing I want to show you is something that I was sent from Alex Eads so I'm sure many of you know now Alex Eads is a friend of mine she uh, is the mum to my friend Charlotte Eads who passed away to brain cancer a few years ago and we keep in contact and we send each other presents around Christmas time and she sent me this really lovely scarf from Oliver Bonus so it's quite an avant-garde kind of like a impressionistic print I would call it but it's like this arctic themed print and it's got this really cool print of like these whales on it and seals but it's really really interesting because the way it's been done it's like this really impressionistic almost like a 
bit of a Picasso-esque print. It's really cool and it's in these lovely cool tones of blue and grey and black and also a bit of yellow in there as well and it's literally the most softest thing ever and it's a really long scarf as well and I love having really long scarves that I can just wrap around me and just stay warm at the winter time so thank you so much for that Alex next thing I want to show you is something that I got from my works secret centre so at my work we do a secret centre where we have a budget of £10 to buy something for someone and my secret centre got me this really lovely teacup which is also a candle so basically it's like a vintage style teacup and it's got this lovely print of little daisies on the front and what I love about this is that once I've used the candle up I can then use the cup and actually use it as a natural drinking cup and I thought that was such a nice idea and I love things like this so I thought that was a really nice present now moving on to what my friend Rochelle got me Rochelle always knows me so well and she always gets me things that I absolutely love and one of the things that she got me was a scented candle it's just like this thing everybody always gets me scented candles at Christmas and literally by the end of Christmas I have this absolutely huge stack of candles that I can use so I'm always spoiled for choice for candles after Christmas and the one she got me was from DW Home and it's the pumpkin peach candle and she knows I like anything pumpkin scented and this just smells so nice to me it smells like if you've ever been to Ikea and got those ginger biscuits when you leave from the food hall it kind of smells like a Kia ginger biscuit and I absolutely love DW Home. They are one of my favourite scented candle brands. The next thing Rochelle got me is this necklace. So it's on this bronzy brass chain and at the bottom you've got this pendant which is like this glass bottle and inside you've got this little blue butterfly resting on some flowers. The flowers are actually real, they're, they're real pressed flowers although the butterfly is not real I will hasten to add but I just thought that was so pretty and I absolutely love things like this. Now moving on to what my nan got me. She got me this really beautiful brooch from Butler and Wilson. I used to have a massive thing about Butler and Wilson jewellery when I was younger. When I opened this I was just so in love and it's this really beautiful little squirrel brooch and the squirrel is holding on to a little acorn and I just thought this was so cute and I absolutely love this sort of thing. I love woodland themed things and I do really like brooches. Over the past year I've got back into wearing brooches because I have a massive collection and I went off of it for a while and then over the past year I've started to wear them again. So I just thought this was so beautiful and I don't have anything like this. I don't have any squirrel brooches and I just think it's just so cute. My nan and granddad gave me some money but that is being saved because one of my new, new Year's resolutions is to save money so I'm not going to show you that but they gave me money so that's going towards my savings account. So now I'm going to move on to what my parents bought me. Well, I say parents but I think we all know by now that my dad does not go out and buy this it's my mum who does it so you know but anyway my parents because my dad did contribute but you know my mum went out and picked all this bless her my mum always goes really above and beyond at christmas she gets me so much stuff and she also still gets me a christmas eve box which i think is so cute because i'm 24 and i still get given a christmas eve box but nevertheless it was lovely it had lots of chocolate in it and little face masks and stuff so that was really nice so the first thing that my mum got me is this journal and it's the write it down let it go journal and it's basically a worry relief journal it's colour coded and it's got all these different prompts to help you kind of think about different things that you might be worrying about and you kind of write them down as you want and they, they prompt you. One thing I want to work on this year is my mental health and I think this will really really help with that. So thank you so much for that mum, it was so so sweet of you. She also got me some fairy tale books. Now this is quite random but I absolutely adore fairy tales and I love illustration so she got me a couple of the Osborne illustrated fairy tale books so she got me the original one which is this one and it has some really beautiful illustrations in it I mean it is a kids book make no bones about it but I did do a master's degree in children's literature so it's something that I still like to look at and collect and I still love to actually collect children's books and then she also got me the Brothers Grimm version which is absolutely beautiful so I think these are so lovely and I just think illustration and fairy tales are just so immersive and I love to see what the different illustrators come up with in their minds for how the characters look so I just think they're so beautiful and I've actually been wanting those for a while so I'm really going to enjoy kind of like leafing through that and kind of rediscovering some of my old 
favourite fairy tales. Also comment down below what is your favourite fairy tale? If you want to know mine it's Puss in Boots. But the next thing my mum got me came in this little box and it's from an Etsy seller. So basically there is an Etsy seller. I don't remember what the person's name was but I will link it down below if you're interested. And she makes these really beautiful animal necklaces which she puts in these little tiny nuts, these little walnuts. And then she makes all the different necklaces. So my mum got me this one which is a little fox and the fox is curled up into a ball sleeping and it's on this lovely gold chain but I just thought this was the cutest thing ever I absolutely love things like this I love things that are handmade I like kind of going on Etsy and buying things that not necessarily everyone's going to have and I love foxes as well so I just thought this was so pretty and I absolutely adore it I think it's the cutest thing ever now this next present came as a massive surprise to me when I went to Cornwall in the summer I saw a pair of Wellington boots in jewels that were these beautiful bumblebee Wellington boots in this mustardy yellow colour and I really really wanted them, they didn't have my size. So when I go online I discover that alas they are out of stock in my size and I kind of died inside a little bit and I thought that was the end of it. But I opened this box on Christmas morning and discover that my mum has somehow tracked them down and bought them for me in my size so this is what they look like it's this really really cool design so the wellington boots have this lovely design of these little bumblebees on them and they are just so so cute and it's this lovely mustardy yellow color and i love this shade of yellow i wear a lot of it she's like a magician i don't know how she does it but nevertheless she does it and then actually to go with the Wellington boots, my mum also got me this scarf and it's this yellow scarf with this print of gold bumblebees on it and she got me this because she said that she saw it and it matched the Wellington boots exactly so she thought I could be all matchy matchy because she knows I like to coordinate my scarves and my, my hats and my shoes because that's the sort of person that I am but I thought this was so lovely and I absolutely love the colour and I love the fact it's got bumblebees on it and I love the fact that it now matches my Wellington boots. So the next thing my parents got me was from Yoshi. Now this came as a massive surprise because I was not expecting it. I hadn't asked for it. I said that I liked it but I was not expecting to get it on Christmas morning. And it's a bag. So Yoshi is a really cool company who makes these really cute bags in different really novelty designs because I love novelty bags and really gimmicky bags and they have a collection called the bookworm collection so this is the one I wanted from the bookworm collection it is the dark tan bag with the short straps but you've also got a longer strap that you can clip onto it and it has a series of books that are very tactile on the front so you've got different titles like The Secret Garden and Moby Dick to name a couple and I really wanted this bag. I loved the colour of it, I loved how it looked but it was out of stock for a while and I just forgot about it but I said to my mum, oh I really like that bag. She remembered because when I opened it on Christmas morning I was in shock because I'd not asked for it, wasn't expecting it but there it was in my hands so I've actually finally got the bag that I've been pining after and I just think it's the most beautiful thing ever and it's just so me. I mean I don't think you could get mommy in a bag because I love books, obviously I did a master's degree in children's literature and I love bags. My parents got me a couple of gift sets from the brand Fresh Beauty. So Fresh Beauty is a skincare brand. They were previously just a US brand so you could only buy them in the US but now they have started to sell over here in the UK and I wanted to get a few things from the brand to try out because I've not tried anything from the brand out before but I've had a lot of good things about them. So this is the first one, this is the Round Trip Ritual gift set and inside this gift set you get a few things, so you get a cleanser, you get a face mask, you get a lip balm, you get an eye cream or an eye concentrate and then you also get a day cream. And then the other one she got me is this one and it is the Mask for Miles gift set and inside this you get a assortment of different face masks so you get the rose face mask you get the sugar polish you get the lotus face mask and then you also get the black tea face mask 
So I thought that was so lovely and it will basically mean that I can try lots of different things and see what I like. And I love a face mask, who doesn't? So I've now got a nice selection to choose from. Another thing that I got for skincare from my parents is this Cleanse and Polish Cleansing Balm from Liz Earl. And it's the winter edition version. So I've had this in the past, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite cleansers. And this one is their Winter Rose Edition. So it's a classic cleanser, as you know it, but it's got a few extras in there. So it's got rose, and it's also got rosewood in there as well, and cedar wood. And I love the packaging as well. It's this really nice Christmassy rose wreath with these little pine cones on it. And I really like the original cleanser, and I like it when they bring out the different versions. So I asked for this one, and they actually got it for me. And I'm going to really enjoy using this because I love anything rose scented. And... I absolutely love this cleanser so they also got me that as well so I think my skin's gonna really really enjoy all these lovely goodies and gonna enjoy having a good pamper with those my parents also got me a makeup gift set to be fair I don't really ask for a lot of makeup anymore at Christmas time because I get sent so much from PR throughout the year for my beauty blog but I had seen this and I had mentioned I wanted it so it's the Too Faced under the Christmas tree gift set and inside this you get the little better than sex mascara and then you get three different palettes in there so you've got one that's a face palette one that's an eyeshadow palette and then another one that's an eyeshadow palette and they've got a variety of different colors in there and i just thought that was so cute and i absolutely love two faced palettes i've got quite a large collection of them and i just thought that was really nice and i wanted to get a new palette for christmas so that's what I asked for. I thought it had a nice variety in there. My mum also got me a few pampery things from a particular brand that I've been wanting to try for a while called Feather and Down. And they're basically like this brand that do a lot of kind of sleep things. They're very holistic and they do a lot of things to help you sleep, which is the sort of thing that I love. Anything that helps me get off to sleep is very much appreciated. The first thing she got me from Feather and Down is this Sleep Essentials gift set. Inside this you get a shower cream, you also get the pillow spray, you get a sleep balm and then you get, I think this is a body butter and it's all in the same fragrance. So this fragrance has notes of lavender and chamomile in it to help you sleep. The other thing she got me from Feather and Down is a bath essence. I have been thinking for a while, I really want to get a bath product that has eucalyptus in it because around this time of year I'm always getting cold on sinus problems and I want something that's got eucalyptus in it. She got me this bath essence which has got peppermint, tea tree and eucalyptus and I was just like wow how did you know and this just smells so good it's got a very fresh smell to it. The last thing she got me from Feather and Down is their scented candle and it is the calming candle. So this has notes of lavender and chamomile in it. It's a very hefty size as well. And it just smells really nice. It's just got a very simple, just very soft, relaxing smell. I love anything with lavender in it. And I always use it around the evening time. And I just thought it was so lovely. The actual packaging is absolutely gorgeous as well. It's this lovely blue night sky print. My mum also got me in classic mum style a pair of new slippers she always gets me new slippers at christmas time and these ones are like a camel colored mule slipper they're really soft and spongy and fluffy and they've got backs on them and you really can just sort of sink your feet in there it's literally like you've sunk your feet into a pillow they're just so so soft and comfortable and then she also got me a new dressing gown this is like a cream colored dressing gown it's got a really fluffy inside it has a hood as well and it's just so soft it's very long and snuggly and it's literally just like being embraced by a big fluffy cloud and i'm just all about that life at the moment my mum also got me this little gift set from molten brown this is like a little red cracker gift set and inside this you get four mini shower gels you get the black pepper shower gel the pink pepper shower gel you also get the tobacco absolute shower gel and then you get the rosa absolute shower gel as well and she always gets me things like this because i travel a lot i go on like kind of little weekend trips so whenever i go away it's nice to have a little shower gel that i can take with me i don't have to take massive ones so i thought that was really nice and i love molten brown shower gel so it's nice to have a little collection of those as well so thank you very much mum she also got me a candle that i'd actually asked for but i wasn't expecting to get it in this size and it is the diptyque beige candle now usually with diptyque i go for the more spicier smells like pomander or myrrh 
that kind of thing but I really wanted something a bit different and I really liked the sound of the Bayes candle which has notes of blackberry in it and this just smells lovely it's got a very crisp smell to it whenever I get given a diptyque candle I just feel like so bougie because I would never go out and buy this for myself, like never. I only ever get these candles at Christmas or my birthday, so to actually get given this is like a massive treat for me. So I just felt so happy when I opened it and discovered that she had got me it, but not only that, she had also got me the big one because I was not expecting to get the massive one. So thank you so much, mum. Literally, you made my Christmas with that. The next thing that I got for Christmas is something I did ask for but I wasn't too sure whether or not I was going to get it or not and it's something from Soru. Now I tend to always get Soru jewellery on my birthday or Christmas because I always ask for it because I love Soru jewellery as a brand, they're one of my favourite jewellery brands and I had seen the Bellatrix earrings on the website and I really really wanted them and I said to my mum if you get me anything please please if you can get me these and she delivered she came through and she got me them which I was so happy about so this is what they look like they are these really beautiful earrings and they are made out of these semi-precious stones I can't remember what this exact one is I think it might be moonstone but I could be wrong or maybe it's agate I can't ever remember but it's this really beautiful star and then it's got this massive droplet these are just so beautiful they're very different and I like the fact that they're really rough they're not perfect stones but that's the beauty of them, there's perfection in their imperfection and they're just so gorgeous and they just look absolutely beautiful on. But then surprisingly, I open a second sorrow box and I'm thinking what on earth could she have bought me? And I discovered that she had actually gone out and bought me the matching ring. So this is the Bellatrix star ring, this is what it looks like, it's a really dainty small ring and it goes with the earring and I had actually seen this on the website and I thought that would look really pretty but I wasn't expecting to get it because I'd asked for the earrings and she bought me that to match so I was just like oh my god. My mum also surprised me with this bag from Skinny Dip and it's a blue velvet bag, like a little evening bag and it's got these gold shooting stars and moons and planets on the front, like these studs on it. And I just thought it was so pretty. And I didn't even know that Skinny Dip did this. And she just saw it and thought that I would like it. I think this will be nice to use on an evening out. And I think it's a nice little size as well. And I just love the colour of it. So the last things I'm actually going to show you that she got me are all themed. Because she actually went on a bit of a Harry Potter theme this year. The first thing she got me is this box of pyjamas so the box actually looks like a Hogwarts trunk with the Hogwarts crest on it and then you open it and there's a set of pyjamas in there and matching bed socks and it's this Hogwarts print and it's all really fleecy as well and these just look so cosy and lovely and I had actually said that I really wanted some new pyjamas for Christmas and she decided that she would go on a bit of a theme and get me some Harry Potter themed pyjamas. The other Harry Potter themed thing that she got me, I actually did know about, I was with her when she bought me this for Christmas and it's the Gryffindor jumper. So this is from Primark and Primark's done a bit of a theme for Harry Potter over the last couple of years and they've brought out these house team jumpers and obviously I am Gryffindor so she got me the Gryffindor jumper which I absolutely love. It kind of just looks like the sort of thing that you'd imagine the Gryffindors wearing on Christmas morning but it's just so nice and it's the Gryffindor team house colours and it's really kind of slouchy and comfy. I actually got some Harry Potter themed socks in my stocking this year so literally she's kind of gone with the whole theme so I'm actually going to be able to wear the whole Harry Potter apparel. It's going to be so good. The next thing she got me, I actually did scream a little bit when I opened it because I had been looking for this for ages but everywhere was sold out of it. Everywhere that sold it and stocked it was sold out so I was like I'm never going to be able to get hold of this. It's just not going to happen. But she managed to track it down somewhere and get it for me, which I don't know how she did it, but she did it. And it is the Harry Potter 3D puzzle and it's the Diagon Alley puzzle and it's 450 pieces and it's basically like a freestanding Diagon Alley. I don't know how this is going to go down, but over the past year I've really got into puzzles. I find it very therapeutic and cathartic. I am going to endeavour to do this and I'm going to endeavour to actually complete it and I just absolutely love it it's all the different diagonally shops and it's just the most a cool thing i've ever seen but please do wish me luck because this is probably going to kill me but i'm so happy to have this because i really wanted it now please please for the love of god don't laugh at me 
this next thing is quite embarrassing and even more embarrassing that I actually asked for it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I asked for Harry Potter Lego. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So I asked my mum for some Lego because I really wanted some Lego. I, I, I don't know why, but I've had an obsession with Lego recently. And I said I really wanted some Harry Potter Lego. My mum got me the Great Hall Lego set, which is basically the Hogwarts Great Hall. And it's so cool because you've got inside all these little compartments in it and you've got the Great Hall and all the different little chambers in there as well. And I really, really wanted some Lego and she got me this. And I just think it's so, so cute. But the fact is, it says on here that it's for 9 to 14 year olds. And I'm 24. But you know what? I don't care. You know... There are worse things in life than to ask for some Lego for Christmas. You know? So that's the end of my what I got for Christmas for 2018. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you all have an even better New Year's as well. And I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to click the notification bell down below if you would like to receive updates when I make new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.